This is a uh, very important day um, for the state of Maryland. Uh, I know this is a long time coming. Victims' rights advocates have fought nine years to pass legislation allowing women who become pregnant as a result of sexual assault to terminate the parental rights of their attacker. From a global perspective, it signifies our respect for women, our understanding of what they go for and what they go through. Speaker Michael Bush gave a shout out to Delegate Kathleen Dume as the person almost who single-handedly delivered the bill to the governor's desk. She has been a champion, very patient, persistent to make this happen. And without her, we would not be here today. The law allows rape survivors who become pregnant by their attackers to petition the court to remove his parental rights even if there's no conviction. A judge will use a clear and convincing evidence standard to make that decision. Have a judge weigh and balance what should be done. Terminating anyone's parental rights is a major um, decision and a very substantial decision, and it should be done in a fair manner. Senate Bill 2 have received a unanimous vote. The bill came close to going back to the drawing board in the Senate. Now, one of the concessions that the Senate had to make in order to allow this bill to get passed was that relieve this rapist of parental responsibility for supporting the child. So advocates aren't finished yet. They'll be back next year pushing a bill giving victims the option of making rapists pay child support. In Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.